you can hold me down you 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 can hold me down you 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 can hold me down you 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 can hold me down we're getting ready to install this uh closet made super slide shelf kit with closet rods they also have a website closetmade.com what it looks like right there there's instructions I'll pop that out when I get the instructions You want it shorter, like say your closet's, let's say 20 inches, you can cut that down to size. You're just gonna put these little rubber nipple thingies over the things. Even if you don't cut it down, you have to put those rubber things over top of it, you can see right here. Then it wants you to mark, level it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that, but there is instructions on there. I don't really know how high you want it, but since I have two closets, I'm putting one in each. I want them to look pretty much close to even. So I'm gonna go with 60 inches up from my baseboard. So yeah. Five feet, pretty much, 60 inches. Go ahead and mark it in here, and I'm gonna just show you this one. But... So I just found something straight that I can give myself a straight edge and a level. Take the stuff out. So what's in here? We have the main shelf. Because the two hangers that hold the rod. The rod is actually in here in a shipping thingy, so it can be taken off. supposed to be mounted into any studs so it's kind of hard for me to wrap my head around that anyways but these ones are going to be for the shelf part so I think there's one two three four five of those 
and you can go on the end of your rod. Then these go to the bottom of your braces, your shelf braces. These are those little nipples I was saying it's going to go on there. I'm going to go ahead and put those on there now. And then you've got these screws that hold, or uh, nails, I think they're calling them pins. And they all go into these to anchor it into the wall. pins in the hole and just tap them in. If you ever need to take those out, you just use a screwdriver and you pry those pins back out. I'm going to go ahead and take my rack, take it in there, pull it down into it. Alright, now 
we got that shelf mounted. Now we're hooking this brace up. And it's gonna take one of these ones that doesn't have the hook and one pin for each packet. All right, uh, said these things, uh, they have a little claw. Maybe it's kind of too far away. There's a little claw. I'm gonna go ahead and bring you on in here. Put it up in here. Maybe like that. Oh, you can come out of the other one. Yeah. You see, it goes in there like that. I'm gonna put mine right here. I'm using this wire from this middle, this uh, one of these almost center braces. Now I'm gonna want to get that somewhat even. Got it. I need to go get my drill. other side. Just gonna go up in here, put this uh, back seal in, and then it just clips down. You can do that to both sides. It has uh, recommendations on how far to do it. I'm just kind of randomly putting them in there. And now the rod goes on. Put these little in the ends. And it just goes down here and down. That's it. And it's actually pretty sturdy. If you ask me, we're not hitting the stud. So these little locking pins that you're anchoring it with seem like they uh, hold up pretty good. Then if you want those uh, 
lead pencil marks off of there, come back and erase them. So, there you have it, selling those shells. Girl might want to see this. Get your ass whooped.